Levitating and flying is something I'm sure that all of us at one point or another have wished that we could experience. And ever since we've watched the now iconic shots of Max and other characters in Stranger Things levitating from Vecna's curse, we thought it would be fun to do our own DIY version. Now, the effect for the show was done using wires and a harness, but since we don't have the budget for that, we need to do a little extra trickery. The first thing that we need for the effect is a clean plate of the spot that the subject will be levitating from. So we placed the camera on a tripod just to get a simple static shot and recorded about 30 seconds of the scene without anything extra in the frame. Next, we set up a green screen and filmed a shot of me acting like I was floating up that will be used for the upper body portion. Then for the legs, I stood in the same spot and had Brandon and Steven stand on each side of me and then lift me up slowly into the air so that my legs could dangle while making sure that they didn't cross in front of my legs at any point. All right, now that we have our three shots ready to go, we can finally hop into After Effects and start the composite. We'll create a new comp and drop in our clean plate and our two green screen clips. Starting with the upper body clip, let's draw a mask around the subject, leaving enough room for the arms to come out and cut it off around the belt line right underneath the shirt. We'll add a little bit of feathering, something like 20 for now, and then we'll animate the mask path a bit just to make sure that it stays close to the shirt line and out of the way of the hands. Then let's add a key light effect and key out the green and add a little bit of spill suppression. Moving on to the legs clip now, let's do the same thing as before and create a mask from the belt line down to the ankles and animate the mask path a bit as the subject gets raised into the air, keeping any obstructions out. Then just like before, we'll add a key light effect to key out the green screen. Now, since we did this outside and wanted the feet to actually interact with the real ground, we need to deal with the feet a little bit differently by rotoscoping. Let's make a duplicate of the legs layer and delete the mask and the key light effect. Then by double clicking the layer to open it up in the layer panel, we'll use the rotor brush tool to mask out the ankles and the feet. The first few frames don't really need to be super perfect since it will blend in with the clean plate, but getting it as accurate as we can, we'll move frame by frame and ensure that we have a clean roto as the feet lift up and dangle. And for the sake of keeping this video short, I'm gonna speed through this process, but we do have a video specifically about using the rotor brush tool that you can check out in the top right hand corner if you wanna learn more on how to use it. After our feet roto is complete, the next thing that we need to do is track the motion of the legs layer and apply that to the upper body since the upper body doesn't actually lift up. Let's pull in another copy of our legs layer just to use for the tracking and then create a new null object and call it tracker. Then with our new legs layer selected, we'll go into the tracker panel and hit track motion and turn on the position, rotation, and scale checkboxes. Then let's hit edit target and set the null to be our layer to apply the tracking data to. Now we just need to find a few points around the belt that have some decent contrast that we can set our tracker points to, like the belt buckle and maybe this little metal grommet, and then hit analyze forward. Once the tracker is done analyzing, let's hit apply and apply the data to our tracker null. Now all we have to do is align the upper body with the legs, parent it to the tracker null and turn on motion blur, and just like that, the two parts of the body are in sync. Then just tuck in the mask path animation of the legs layer to clean up any parts that are sticking out. If the upper body is experiencing some jittering from the tracker like it is here, we can go to the position, rotation, and scale parameters on the null and alt click on each stopwatch. And by clicking on the little arrow to open the expression menu, we can go to property and select smooth on each one. This will add just a little bit of smoothness to each parameter and can be adjusted by playing around with these numbers if needed. For this, it's working pretty nicely, so we'll just leave them as is. Is. Now we can get rid of our extra leg layer and then select all the layers except for the clean plate and pre-compose them calling it something like body. And then all we need to do is animate the position of the body layer to move upward, add a little bit of motion blur, and then finalize things by adding a 3D camera to the scene with position animation to add just a little bit of dolly-like motion. Hey, hopefully you got some value out of this video and if you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and then check out this next one that YouTube thinks you'll really like.